I have always wanted to be in the military. My grandfather had served as Marine during World War II. My father was drafted into the Vietnam War and served two years with the 1st Air Cavalry Division. And just knowing that uh, I wanted to do my part to serve my country. I think it's really important for people to realize that a war cannot be fought without a goal, without a, a final objective. Uh, the, the, the war on terror seems a lot like the war on drugs. It's perpetual, it's ongoing, it, it, it doesn't have a clearly defined win. And I would, I would want people who think that, uh, that redeploying from Iraq or Afghanistan is quote unquote weak on terror or quote unquote unpatriotic. I would feel most supported if the American public wanted to bring me home. It's preposterous actually to think that that an exit strategy or that 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 bringing them home is, is somehow a bad thing. What were the original goals in Iraq? The ousting of Saddam Hussein, uh, proving there, whether or not there were weapons of mass destruction. This, this work has been done. This work has been done. Now we either need to make our mission to quell a civil war or to come home, mission accomplished. I think it's really important to get some fresh ideas. Um, I don't know if everybody realizes that a 20,000 person troop escalation has actually happened two times before this and it didn't seem to bring about the end of the war then. And I don't see it bringing about an end to the war now. Hopefully the big picture stuff can be taken care of before they have to tap the guard units again. But uh, should the need arise, I am very willing to go perform my medevac mission.